Today we're going to build this outdoor cedar coffee table made from about $50 worth of 2x4s and fence slats. The wood came from my local home improvement store, so before cleaning it up, I needed to remove any staples to make sure they wouldn't wreck my planer. Then I ran both the 2x4s and the pickets through my planer. This isn't necessary, but it does give you cleaner lines. Since the wood is already pre-cut, you can just use a sander and get off the rough edges, and it works almost as well. I trimmed off both sides from the 2x4s to get consistent dimensions and clean edges. This is even more important for the slats as some of them came in varying widths, sometimes up to even half an inch different. I'm using some different scraps of 2x4s from previous builds, so I just picked out the best pieces to limit waste, measured the vertical leg pieces, and then I set my stop lock to make repeat cuts. I did the same thing for the horizontal leg pieces, but I had to use a clamp for the stop lock since the pieces were a little bit too long for my built-in block. Now you could definitely use a circular saw or a miter saw for these cuts. I just like using a table saw because I don't have a nice setup for my other two saws and I find it a bit faster and easier to sneak up on some cuts. Finally, I cut down the two long top side stretchers. I laid everything out and marked where the pocket holes would go. I found this to be helpful because every now and then I accidentally cut the wrong spots, so this reduces the chance of that happening. I'm using this really nice Craig K5 pocket hole jig. It makes things go much faster, but I also have one that looks like this, which works great as well and is much cheaper. Next, I assembled the legs using lots and lots of outdoor rated wood glue as well as outdoor rated pocket hole screws. I found that the top of a table saw is a really great place to do the setup and the right angle on the fence helps to keep things in place while you screw it in. With those done, I sanded all the joints down to flush them up prior to attaching the top stretchers. Then I've repeated the same process to attach the top. With the long top stretchers assembled, I measured how long the short stretchers were going to be, went, cut it, and made sure I snuck up on the cut to get a tight fit. After measuring out the spacing, I decided to actually do two instead, so I went, cut another one, and then re-measured the spacing, and attached them with glue and screws. I did another round of sanding on the joints and then I dry placed all the top slats. I made sure that all the concave sides of each board were down so that if they warped a little bit, all the water would run off and not sit in the top. A bunch of you have urged me to build a project like this without using brad nails, so here you go. I decided to just glue the and clamp the top on. It definitely works really well and looks fantastic, but it does take a little bit longer. I glued the two side pieces first, and then once I had the spacing figured out, I glued the rest. I used a spacer to trace rough gaps for the lines so I knew just about where to put the glue. This helped keep things from showing once the glue up was done.
You'll notice that off camera I switched some of the clamps for the middle. I did this because I wanted it to be really nice and snug and not have any gaps. With everything dry, I lined up my track saw and cut down both sides. Now I know you could definitely pre-cut all of these as I've done it before in other projects, but this way I was able to make sure that the edges were nice and clean and also it went a little bit faster. I did a little bit more sanding, added a couple of plastic feet to keep it out of standing water, and I was done. This table was to replace another table that I had made out of pine. Actually my first video ever, I think. Go check that out, correct me if I'm wrong. But it turned out really nice. It only cost about $50 in materials, and I was able to get the whole thing done in only a couple of hours, I think maybe four. The cedar should last a really long time, and you don't even have to finish it. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you did, consider hitting the thumbs up, subscribing, leave me a comment, all that kind of stuff, and I'll see you in the next episode.